one of humankind's closest extant relatives, is also one of Earth's rarest primates. This is Mike Fitz with Explore.org. Let's take a moment to explore the world of the Growers Gorilla and the organization dedicated to save them. Scientists currently classify gorillas into four subspecies. Of those, the eastern lowland gorilla, also known as the Grower's gorilla, makes its home in the eastern region of the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are the largest gorillas. Full-grown males can weigh more than 450 pounds. Like other gorillas, the Grower's gorilla lives in family groups generally composed of several adult females, a large and dominant adult male known as a silverback, and their offspring. Even though a silverback's substantial canine teeth may suggest otherwise, gorillas are herbivores. The great majority of their diet consists of plants, and wild gorillas forage on vegetation for several hours each day. Large molars and huge muscles at the base of the jaw provide a gorilla with the strength to chew leaves and other fibrous foods. A gorilla's sizable pot belly is also a consequence of their diet. Compared to humans, gorillas have an extra long digestive tract. This allows them to extract more nutrients and energy from their high fiber, raw veggie diet. Grower's gorillas are critically endangered. Their populations have declined nearly 80% during the last 20 years due to habitat loss and poaching frequently associated with mining to fuel electronics manufacturing, including the manufacturing of cell phones and other mobile devices. With as few as 6,800 of these gorillas left in the wild, each individual is vital to the continued survival of the species. Located in the heart of the Grower's Gorilla Range, the Gorilla Rehabilitation and Conservation Education Center, known by the acronym GRACE, works alongside Congolese communities to protect Grower's Gorillas and their habitat. GRACE currently houses 14 gorillas at its sanctuary, all of whom were rescued as orphans after poachers killed the infant's mother and extended family. Despite experiencing many traumatic events and injuries, including gunshot wounds, broken bones, malnutrition, and the loss of their original families, the gorillas at Grace have bonded into a cohesive group like that of a gorilla family living in the wild. Kioma arrived at Grace as a one-year-old in 2010. Since then, he's matured into the group's silverback leader. Although, Lubutu is maturing quickly it may soon rival Kioma for dominance. Pinga, an adult female, led the group for several years in the absence of a silverback and also served as the surrogate mother for almost every gorilla at Grace. Mapendo was about three years old when she was confiscated from poachers in 2007. She's since become the group's most dominant female. Another female, Itabiro, is famous for her use of tools. Providing these gorillas with the habitat and care necessary for them to thrive is a challenging endeavor in the best of times. Tragically, insecurity and disease outbreaks have made the task even more difficult for the Congolese caregivers and staff at Grace. In 2016 alone, war displaced almost one million people from their homes in the Congo region. Gorillas are also susceptible to Ebola and COVID, and the GRACE staff must take special precautions to avoid exposing gorillas to these dangerous diseases. Community support for gorillas in the Congo is an indispensable part of their conservation. The GRACE sanctuary is run entirely by Congolese staff. GRACE works hand in hand with local communities to protect wild gorilla habitat, as well as provide for conservation education, forest protection, and sustainable livelihoods. If wildlife conservation is to succeed in the 21st century, then we must incorporate the needs of people and wildlife together. Boundaries for nature reserves and wildlife protection often only exist on paper when insecurity, disease, and poverty prevent millions of people the chance to earn a living or receive good health care or education. Wildlife, especially gorillas, 
suffer under these circumstances. Whether the challenge has been Ebola, COVID, or insecurity, the dedicated caretakers and staff at Grace persevere through it all to protect rescued gorillas and work toward the day when they return to life in the wild.